goes with. And uh, FlyQuest are packing quite a bit of DPS here. Definitely one of the more standard drafts from them. So the Van Dale was actually able to chat with Inkard. Hang on, looks like there actually may be a gank in the mid lane. Jensen exhausted straight up. Here comes Moon. He gets ex oh. Jensen's exhaust straight away. And FlyQuest comes up with kill number one. They got to be feeling good about that. I actually want to find out how Think Card felt about. And FlyQuest did focus very heavily on that. Right now, though, prepping the dive on balls, he's going to go ward and get stunned. Oh. Deja vu from last game, but we, balls goes down this time. We see that so often, and especially against the Rengar, where these guys, you know he's got the sense my tanky where you're a bit bruisery with Hexdrinker and stuff. Okay, builds are going to have to wait because they're going after balls again, and both junglers are coming to come too. Oh, time tracks is in. They're going to be out real quick on this one. Kill going in for impact. Moon cannot get in to help on this. Lost track of contracts did not want to get off cooldown at the time that the Rengar ultimate comes off cooldown but contracts actually sitting in he wants to get the free jump out of the bush should be all right bullet in shot blast there trying to deliver but they set up okay you can't get to it I'll get the kill flash down for high as well so fortunate there you know Rengar the inch it he just wants to wait for you to inch over close to that side bush on the mid lane and they had a pink ward in there so moving everybody down there as uh the rotation came in. Well, Contracts actually jumps for it. Whoa. Minions are there. Doesn't want to take too much. It's going to be the jump in from Impact. Contracts just gets out with his life. Is there a finalizing Woo! kill? Oh, it's over the shoulder. Pie to the face of balls. Impact. And Jensen comes in. Impact provides the... Oh, they want him. Oh, it flashes <laughs> out of the shockwave. That could easily be a 2v1 for him for the moment. Jensen actually taking a lot of damage from the shockwave dissonance on the backside. He did not. Miss it. Oh, they forced it all right, but it was into a waiting fly quest. As we said, they're looking for this counter initiation, and the flashes expended there. Fly quests come out ahead. Contracts Ooh. and Jensen not able to burst the target first. Impact will be able to answer at least one. Guys, <laughs> I just got to farm this canyon. Give me the give me the good cannon. Yeah. So, still a fly. Balls? D9 can get this here. Looking to pinch fly. Balls is so far away. You know, go for it. Teleporting in, he's just going to be above the team. The Equalizer could lay down mid, but he's being chased by Jensen. Everything's in defense here for FlyQuest. The tools that FlyQuest have yeah. to force something are pretty limited. And as we've seen, if, if you miss your Shockwave, if you miss it uh, with the Kha'Zix ultimate, then you've got nothing left. Here they go for a Flash Shockwave instead. Well, they hit Sneaky, they got him. It's about pulling the trigger. It only becomes harder when you show them that initiation the first time, so you got to do snap judgment the second time. Fox in Moon, impact in a 5v1 right now. Yeah. He'll be coming back up. Contracts is there. They got to be careful of the equalizer. It's still burning down. Two in the shockwave. Moon goes in. He's able to clear one out. Two of these gets just far enough away. The reset in, the reset out. And Moon gets himself some great kills. The team's going to follow ball oh, here. Quick and time, Jensen. They were waiting. It was the split push plays, but can Cloud9 collapse from the lanes to get the kill? <laughs> Jensen Eagle Eye onto Lemonation on the back line. Sneaky with very low mana, still firing in the Mystic shots. And it looks like they're going to take a breather. That's going to be a very nice heal. Lemonation put it just on the outside. Equinox to lock somebody down. They lock out Impact, actually, as he comes in. Two shot barrage through the team. High gets hit with the bola. Can he stay alive? Oh! Needs to deliver the shockwave for the team. Equalizer goes down. Boss on the forefront, overheating. So he's getting slammed through the minions. Can't do too much as he continues to speed up. Hey, and Baron getting burned. Impact mid. He's starting to come back. It's only half HP. Smoothie's there looking for contracts. He's over uh -oh. at Blue Ruff. Too far away. So the Skies Jensen, if he goes in, it's going to be a hit for the steal. Uh -huh. Contracts just on the edge. Baron goes to Jensen in Cloud9. And they start to wipe down Fly. It's one of those situations. Fly quest, but like they were just running out of options and they wanted to take a small window here but it wasn't enough cloud nine can collapse there were no cds left for fly quest nope. inside the baron c9 at all respawn and that is going to be the game 38 minutes in what a back and forth after c9 knew they weren't just going to find their way into the base with the split push fly quest holding them off and one final fight at the baron fly quad finally broke and took the chance cloud nine Take the victory. Game one to Cloud9 over FlyQuest.
Flint Bush wears on you, man. As the players like yeah. to say, that can be damaging. To it makes the game a lot more interesting. We'll see, you know, what their what their early pathing will try and tell us for the future. We do have all bands this time around. Nothing crazy for that. Impact. <laughs> Impact has to blow flash. Oh, he actually didn't flash that far. Uh, he's still slowed by the exhaust. That's why he exhausts early here in the level one fights. Lemonation, no hesitation there, and they get the kill. Oh, bottom, here it is, what we've been waiting for. Nautilus is in, depth charge isn't far enough now. Impact still has a way to go. True Shot Barrage, one last attack. It's gonna be going over to Smoothie to start things off for them. They follow up, there's the kill for Sneaky, and Contracts just stays alive as Impact takes aggro. The exact play we set up, Contracts and Open up on the curtain, he actually can't get out of this one. Nicely placed, Ooh, collateral damage. They didn't communicate that one. Could have taken out Sneaky a little faster, but who cares? They get him anyways. 30 seconds on the death timers here. We'll see how long balls can stay alive. Never moves all, oh, but gets Oh, contact on me, He can slalom the minion, start getting healed from that as well. Impact may not have the damage to make this happen before it's, he gets back. It's gonna take a while, but balls doesn't have anywhere to go. So. Oh, he's still by the brush. <laughs> nice dodge on the never move, just getting out. But Ball's doing his damnedest to go down valiantly and doing as much damage as possible. And the longer you buy time on the other exactly. side of the map, the more you in there quicker or you cut off a rotation, that can mean the big difference. And there it is, vision advantage. Jensen on a ward. Hatching that one. <laughs> uh, it's actually one of the few wards that FlyQuest had up. Jensen, uh, too bad for him. He happened to go stand on one of the... And, and there's been no lack of wards for Cloud9 to make those teleports happen either. Consistently setting up that security vision. Oh, Lemon! Right out of Jensen again. Holy. He just came back. But yeah, Lemon Nation gets squeezed out on that one. 30 seconds was, for him. Uh, aggressive. <laughs> they thought that they had... Coming in. Impact. And Jensen flashes forward. Oh. Goes for Altex. Finds his target. Contracts gets out with a sliver of health, baiting in more attacks. Sneaky. Alts on the never move. Gets zeroed out on that. Smoothie very low as well as Impact. And Fly was really able to just group up, continue the damage. And like we said, these are going to be longer fights. Balls is going to live for a while and be on that front line for the team. C9 loses. Maybe throw a bowl up. Regardless, now it's a Baron initiation. Oh, and it does not look good for Fly right now. Contracts picks up balls, takes him down. Oh my! And now, actually, the kill coming in. Nice flash by Moon. They keep him alive. Hi trying to get it. Moon's in the right. He fires the ult backwards for what would have been a true grid over the wall. Gets the smite. They get out with Baron. And that was close. Ah. We're just trying to capitalize on. Cloud9 activating immediately with Scatter the Weak. Oh, They're on to Impact. And they still have the turret to fight behind. It has about negative one HP, but it's still standing somehow. Jeez, they got sneaky super low. Oh, if C9 can get a fight here, they'll be stopping Fly very nicely. The turret's all behind Cloud9, about 600 or less HP. So this would be a huge fight now resulting in Cloud9's favor. Balls is going to be next. That True Shot Barrage hitting nicely through two members of the team. And a double kill coming in for Jensen. That's high and Lemon Nation down with balls as well. Uh, Impact should be able to... Oh, oh wow! wow. Um, but you usually want to have it running when you zone yours on the front line, so you still have threat. Jensen has to dodge here, though. Oh! oh! He went to flash the end of the line, a collateral and the shot from... Ball's taking a lot of damage. He needs to get the heal up here. He could easily be a focus. Impact gets absolutely shredded as the tankiest one on the team. And that means C9 has to look scared here. Oh, Sneaky in. Sneaky with the flash in. No, we know the results of the flash in. Sneaky does his damnness to stay alive now. There's the shield. Great shot by Smoothie and the rest of the team to keep him alive. Shockwave now onto Contracts as he goes down. There's your arcade step forward. Nine. <laughs> Get the fight lost there. Three down for them. Jensen just came back up. Fly is low and Baron has fully. Oh, feet. it's still touch and go. Jensen won't have time. We've seen the Glitter Lance steal, and a Mystic Shot can do the same. Too many members oh. in front. That's the Baron for high, and the team FlyQuest make it out alive with all five. Just in time, too. Jensen's on the way. Yes. Throw down Beatrice onto Impact, slows him down. That's the ultimate Double coming hit. in from Lemon. Contracts looking for an over the wall jump. Whoa! Onto balls. He actually didn't find the target he wanted. Nice true shot barrage. Sneaky goes forward, picks up the first kill of the fight. Lemon Nation 
Gets back. He is very low. And Cloud9 eat a shockwave coming in from high that settles the fight a little bit. Game set up to take impact down. Can they shred him? The continuous lockdown as they layer the crowd control. The curtain call would be for him. I don't know how he can dodge his Nautilus. The last uh -huh. shot will take him down. Sometimes I think that thing just weighs him down. 39 <laughs> minutes on the clock. They're going to be going for Elder Drake on the side of FlyQuest. All right, Contracts might go for a steal here. Or actually, C9 move in to contest. Balls, very nice job on the front line, but he gets shredded. The Sonyas for the ultimate of Jensen. Pulls it out, baits it in, and they take him down. Impact and Jensen now waiting to get back up as FlyQuest start to take everything on the map. And FlyQuest at eight. Dragon still ticking for a little bit longer. Pull in, three oh. man depth charge. And it looks like the damage is going to be over. Now on to Alltech. Down high was already dropped in the beginning of the fight as Lemonation is a focus. Jensen soloing balls on the bottom side towards mid lane. And he may be able to drop the last Q. He will not. The hammer doesn't follow. Balls and Moon get out alive. Oh. Cloud9 has been waiting for the Don't die and the uh, extra resistances aren't applied to the turret. Oh, these, th those are the ones that hurt. You're in the lead the whole time. All right. We see Cloud9. Something right. over towards Baron. It. Teleport used as well. This sucker is dead. Look at that burn. <laughs> no chance, Baron. No chance. Whoa, flash in. Lemonation's the hit. If they can clear out Lemonation, that means a lot of the crowd control here is gone. Besides that ultimate from high, he's forced to flash. Throws back the dissonance to hopefully slow. The aggression of Cloud9, but they have bought time. They held their breath. They got the fight they wanted in the mid lane inhibitor. And I think they may have just closed it out on FlyQuest. Oh, yes, they have. Baron there for C9. Plus, they jump on FlyQuest as soon as they come through the jungle. And that is going to be an end to the series. What an exciting game number two, though. Pretty back and forth. Very back and forth. We are going to see one hell of a series here coming in for the rematch, but it will be. Cloud9 taking the 2-0 in the end over FlyQuest. And FlyQuest had previously gotten two Barons and an Elder Dragon, but not able to win a team fight. And Cloud9 will strike back when it really matters. Defend inside their inhibitor door, and then immediately into that Baron play and game over. Two